Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. If you guys could not tell by the thumbnail of this video, I'm not cleaning my house today. I'm actually going to be cleaning my mom's house. Now it's not that she necessarily needs my help, but I figured I would give back a little bit. She has been doing so much for me and they're always cooking me dinner. Um, I'm always over here swimming, just spending a lot of time over here. So I figured that I would, you know, give you guys a little bit something different to look at and just a little bit different of a motivation video. So her house is not dirty, dirty. Um, she never really lets it get that way, but it definitely still needed to be wiped down and tidied up. So I figured that's what I was going to be doing today. I did post this on my community page and a lot of you, um, I'm not going to say a lot of you. I had about four people message me and say that they were excited. So you know what? those four people. I'm glad you're excited and I hope you guys are here and I hope you are ready to get some cleaning done because we're going to be cleaning. So she actually likes to have her things cleaned a certain way with certain products, which is absolutely fine. Um, she does, I wouldn't say more of a natural clean, but I definitely use a lot more chemicals than she does. And that's perfectly okay. Everybody does everything different, but we're just going to get in here and start to clean. And I'm not going to be doing bedrooms because I just kind of really wanted to keep, you know, that stuff private for her, but we're going to be tackling the floors, the kitchen, the living room, the bathrooms. We're going to be getting it all done. So I really hope you guys are here for it and I hope you enjoy it. I definitely did have a lot of fun doing this because it was just different and also you'll see me kind of like stumbling around a little bit sometimes because when you're not used to cleaning your own house you kind of like get out of a groove like some things I didn't know where she kept them and I kept having to ask her where do you put this where do you put that and it was just it was a lot of fun and I'm definitely going to be doing this again there were some things that I didn't get to that I really want to get to so if you guys enjoy this let me know I'll definitely come back and do another video. I did want to kind of get her lights, like her hanging lights. She's got a ton of lights in this house. If there's one thing she's lacking, it ain't lights. So you guys are going to see that, especially in the kitchen. And I did want to get up there and kind of wipe those down for her, but I just didn't get a chance to on this day. So like I said, if you enjoy this video, let me know and I will definitely go back and be doing that. And I will also be going back and taking some of my own things. Um, yeah, so you're going to see here in just a minute. I was like, okay, um, do you want me to vacuum or sweep? You know, where's your mop? Blah, 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 blah. So girlfriend hands me like this little two pound um, dirt devil. And I was like, is this it? And she's like, yeah, it works really good. I was like, okay. So I did as much as I could with that dirt devil. But I want you guys to know, you're going to be like Mandy. You have a cleaning channel and your mother doesn't have, you know, a robot vacuum. She absolutely does. I bought her one for Christmas. And when I got over there, she, I said, can we go ahead and start the vacuum? And she's like, yeah, sure. So she went to start and she's like, oh, it wasn't all the way on the base. So it wasn't charged up. So you're going to see me struggling here in a little bit, especially in the kitchen and the living room to try to get everything vacuum and swept. And you're also going to get to see what she gave me to mop with. I was in complete and total shock. Um, it's been years. It's been years. And when y'all see it, you're going to be like, oh girl. Yeah, that's exactly what she did to me. She did me dirty. And I told her, I was like, you know what? When I do this voiceover and I talk about cleaning up your uh, floors, I'm going to put you on blast. I'm definitely going to do that. So I will be telling you, uh, she will be getting a spin mop very soon because I'm not doing these floors again with the mop that she gave me. It was just like, I mean, and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's my mom. I can say that. So it's like just a regular mop where you have to like hand wring it out. I was like, girl, yeah, you see my face? Mm -hmm. That's exactly, mm -hmm, yeah, that's exactly what I had to deal with. So we, we used it. We got it done. I felt like a pirate and I was swabbing the deck, but we got it all cleaned up. And uh, again, like I said, yeah, she's definitely going to be getting a spin mop in the very, very near future. Captured in a photograph, remember how we used to sit in the vines, yeah, oh, and I can hear you laugh it off, you always said mistakes I left in the past.
Said you had to change your heart That all the need just left you all the same guys can see how I was wrestling with that little vacuum cleaner I swear I almost tripped like four times over that thing but I did want to say that one thing that I've started to do while I was at my mom's house like before I leave every time that I go over there I do like a little toilet paper origami type thing and I've been trying to think of different ways to do them and of course I have to google more ways to figure out how to do different ones but I leave one in this bathroom almost every time I go and I think it is so funny because when I go back the next time she's usually got the previous ones that I did hanging up on top of the little towel bar and I'll show you that here in a second but this one was just really easy it's just like a little leaf and I've done like a flower and like another little fan thing before too but if you guys do this let me know I am going to be trying to figure out more ways to do this toilet paper because now it's just become like a thing that I do and I know that every time she leaves, she's going to go in there and be like, what'd she do this time? But I really want to try to figure out some really cool stuff. So if you guys do this, let me know. I just think it's a fun little thing to leave for her and something for her to look forward to. But again, like I said, I think it's just so stinking cute that she keeps the ones that I've done before. And I've told her, I was like, mom, you know, you can throw those away. And she's like, no, I'm not going to throw them away. So they just kind of sit up here and they look all sad because they've been, you know, just, I don't know. I just feel bad for them, but we're going to make her... We're going to make her some more. So if you guys know of any cool tricks and ways for me to do it, definitely let me know. But we're going to go ahead and move into the kitchen. Again, on this day, they had made me an amazing dinner. We had steak and potatoes and corn on the cob. It was delicious. And I was like, yes, let's get this kitchen messy so I can clean it up. And if you guys did not see this video, um, I will tag it in the little box up top where they did like the whole transition of this house like when they bought this house it did not look like it so i will tag that video up top if you guys have not seen that the little remodel it was so good and i'm just in love with this kitchen i swear if i had this kitchen i would probably i would probably never leave it but we're gonna go ahead and get in here and get this all nice and shiny too standing underneath the lights Eyes. Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Fade away Build a secret place for you 
and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made-up place that only we can see you guys, I am so super excited for the videos that I have coming up for you. I've got some really amazing collabs coming up for the month of July. I still have to get my front porch done. We have been waiting for this weather to like act like it has some sense for a long time now. And I've got to get that stain on the front porch. That way I can go ahead and do that little makeover for the summer out there. I'm really excited for that. I've got some really cool stuff that I haven't been able to show you guys because I've just been waiting to be able to get that porch stain again but I've got so much stuff coming up if you guys are not subscribed if this is your first time here welcome again thank you so much for being here go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are into realistic real life house cleaning because that is what I do here on my channel so if that's something that's up your alley stick around click that subscribe button I would love to have you come back and watch some more videos but again like I said I'm just really excited for the things to come I've gotten just like a brand new lease on life I've just been kind of really um in a mood lately uh but things are turning around i'm feeling really good about it so i hope you guys are excited for what's to come because i definitely am so right now we are in the kitchen as you can tell and i don't have a disposal at my house so i was never able to try this trick out i don't know if i saw it first on tiktok or another youtube but you just basically pack your trash compactor with ice and you let it run with just a little bit of water and i don't think you can see it here on the screen i probably stood in front of it but it blew up like a big gunk of nastiness. It definitely did work. If you've not tried it, if you've not cleaned your disposal in a while, that's a really good trick. And it doesn't cost you anything but some ice. Um, but this sink, you guys, I mean, can you even? I'm so jealous of this sink and this just whole kitchen in itself. I really enjoyed cleaning this. And I know that's weird to say, but I had a really good time cleaning the sink. I just imagined it was in my own kitchen. But one day we'll get there. I will have this sink too. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But we're going to get right back on into cleaning and we're going to be moving into the living room soon. Captured in a photograph. Remember how he used to sit in the vine. Mistakes I left in the past
So like I said earlier, mom cleans with just a little bit different of chemicals than I do. And what you're seeing me use basically in the kitchen, like on her appliances and her countertops, she's got that little Dawn, uh, you know, the power thing, power bottle. And I know you guys have seen it. Like if you run out of it, you can make your own. You just put a little bit of water and Dawn detergent and some alcohol. But she kind of puts a little bit more alcohol in it than anything else. That way it still gets everything nice and clean. And the alcohol helps it dry faster so it doesn't leave like those watermarks. And I think that's definitely something I want to try at my house as well. Because it got everything so nice and clean. And everything was so nice and shiny. But here on the table and then the tables in the living room. She doesn't really use anything other than like a damp rag. So that's what I did to wipe all of these tables off. And it does the trick. Like it just kind of goes to show you that you really really don't need to use a lot of chemicals in your house and I know that's weird for me to say because I use a lot of chemicals in my house but I'm definitely going to be trying this uh, with some of my things at my house too so we're going to go ahead and get into the living room and you're going to see me struggling with that daggone vacuum again but I'm going to show you she's got one I promise you I got her one she's got it I don't know where she came from kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Scream it out loud 
Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Did y'all just see me about trip over that vacuum again? I think that cord is like 80 feet long and I just, I could not help myself just from tripping over it every time that I used it. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this living room and kitchen mopped. And again, like I said, I felt like a swashbuckler just swabbing the deck with that thing. And I couldn't help but laugh to myself. Now my back hurts, but it's okay. And I promise you the next time I come over, if she does not have a spin mop, I'm bringing one and it's gonna it's gonna get some use over there because um i told her i was like you have no idea what you're missing out on that thing is amazing and she's like i know every time i go to the store i'm like i need to get one and then i don't i'm like well you're gonna get one because i'm not gonna be cleaning this floor one more time with that thing that one's going outside so again like i said that's my mom i can talk about her like that but nobody else can so we've got this floor finally done and look how nice and clean it is not that it wouldn't have been cleaned if i didn't go over there and do it but i asked her if i could do that for her and i figured it would just be you know a little bit different of stuff for you guys to see so I hope you enjoyed this switch up this little change in my video I really enjoyed doing this and um, I'll do it again soon so make sure you subscribe before you go if you're not already I love you and appreciate you and I will see you next time tired snowflakes are coming down collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep